Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to test your CPU for stability issues on your Windows device. So we're going to be using a utility called Prime95, which is a freeware utility, which was originally used for something else, but now it's become more widely used as a stress testing utility to see how your CPU performs and the stability of your processor. So it does run various tests and it will give you an output if it finds any specific errors. So Prime95 will continue to run if it doesn't find any errors endlessly. So it will just continue indefinitely until the user interrupts or stops the process. So generally it's recommended you run it for a few hours or so. But if your computer or your CPU in particular starts getting really hot, it's really recommended that you stop your computer and you just that you stop the scan at that point and it's imperative that if you're really not comfortable with doing something like that I would recommend that you do not run a scan like this if you know what you're doing you know what to look for and you might be using system monitoring utilities like Speccy or HW monitor to see how hot your CPU temperature is then you're probably good enough and tech savvy enough to run this utility so we're going to just jump right into it so I'm going to start by opening up a web browser here. I'm going to have a link to this page in the description of the video. And you want to just select the correct download for your version of Windows. I believe this is a 32-bit operating system, so I'm going to select the 32-bit download here. It's going to be in a compressed file format, so once it's done downloading, I'm just going to open it up. They do give you some information here. There's a README file, which doesn't really have too much, but it does give you a good overview of instructions of how to use the application and I would recommend that you do check this. But just in terms of the application itself, just double click on the Prime95 utility here. I would recommend extracting them to somewhere, so I'm actually going to extract it to the desktop here. doesn't really matter, of course, but I'm going to just run the Prime95. I probably should have made a folder first and then extracted it to the folder, but this stuff can be deleted when you're done. So I'm going to select Run. And basically just start left basically you just left click on just stress testing and it will begin running the scan. I will let it run for a couple seconds here just so you guys get an idea of what to look for. So there are different tests in here. The small FFT test, it primarily will test the FPU and the CPU cache. The in place FFT, which is the maximum power consumption test, which will test the FPU and the CPU cache, and it will involve some RAM SSS right here. And the blend will basically just test everything, and you can see it says lots of RAM will be tested. So it's really subjective, whatever one you want to select. I'm just going to select the first one here, and then I'm going to click on OK. It'll begin running the test, which I'm not really interested in completing for this tutorial, because I really don't want to test my own CPU. But I just want to give you guys an idea of what to look for in this application. So just keep that in mind. Be smart about it. It's a pretty powerful utility, and if you really don't know what you're doing, I would recommend that you stay away from it. But if you know how to use it right and you know what to look for for your CPU and how high your CPU is getting and how much you've stressed it, I would say then this utility could definitely be for you. I would say that a few hours is probably enough time to get a good accurate picture. Probably anything more than four or five hours is probably overkill, but you definitely need more than 10 minutes to just kind of let it run. And I would recommend having no other applications open on the screen, of course, just have that running as a sole application during that scan. And hopefully you guys should be good. So I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching, and I'm looking, to and I'm looking forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.